Printing from Revit is similar to printing in other Windows applications. The most common way to print is just to generate paper output from a traditional printer or plotter. You can also do digital output to PDF files. That would happen in the print dialog as well. Now, I should mention that PDF is not built into Revit. So, if you want to generate PDFs, you actually have to have a PDF plotter. You could have Acrobat or PDF24 installed, but you will have to have that installed on your system first. So, I'm in a file here called Plotting, and I'm looking at the ID101 overall first story unit plan sheet. On my left here, you can see under the sheets portion here, there is an array of drawings all prepared already and ready for print. So what we're going to do is, we can go to File, go to Print, and click on Print Setup to set up the individual sheets, or we can directly go to Print here and make most of our controls. So as you can see right here, I have got Adobe PDF installed already, or it actually do work with all other printers here, but you must first install them. And down at this portion here on File, it gives us an option to create many PDF documents, but then combine them into a single file, or we can create individual files separately. This portion here will control where the output file is going to be stored and saved. So under the print range here, there are three options in which we can try looking at current window, visible portion of the current window here, or the selected sheets. So in this case, we're going to try to use this portion here, selected views or sheets. We're going to go in here to make further selections by clicking on select. And inside here, it basically shows us all the available setups that we can see from floor plans to 3D views, from legends to renderings, and finally to the sheets setups as well. So what we can do is we can click on check none here to clear everything. So it makes things a little bit easier. And we can also select the sheets we want to print later on as well in a more repetitive sense for checking and all. So what I'm going to do is we're going to prepare a set, for example, for consultation. So I'm just going to select a few like the overall and the partial plans and the elevations and the sections here. And once I'm done with this, we can save this selection here by clicking on the Save As button and call it, for example, Consultation Set, this way. And you notice once this is saved here, the Consultation Set will appear. And then we can also prepare another one, which is the full set consisting of all the sheets within the project itself, this way, like this. And I'm just going to save this one as full set here. So we're going to start with testing out using the consultation set here and click OK. And let's explore a little bit more about the printing setups. So we're going to click on Setup. As we know that the drawing for this set here are largely all in A3, so we will keep it to an A3 size here. And we would set the offset here to no margin. This will ensure that our drawings will not deviate or move too much 
when we output it. We can select zoom to fit page and all, but in general, as we wanted these drawings to be to scale, we are going to choose the option called zoom 100%. And if you look under here, these portions in options area here, some of the things here, we can choose to hide them away. So in general, most of the things that appears in the viewports and the workspaces will print, except for some of these areas here. Like for example, let me just show you here. Let me show you this again. For example, under this option here called Hide Unreferenced View Tags. So if we were to check this portion here, notice down here, all the view tags here, all these view tags here have got a drawing reference number and a detail tag. That means it is placed into a sheet somehow. If you notice here, for this example, this section marker here does not have any information inside. So therefore, this one is an unreferenced view tag. So if we were to check on this option here, this view tag will not print. All right. And uh, for this portion here on replace half tone with thin lines, this option is used when the intended printer is not able to handle the half tones properly. So once we are done with this, we will save this as A3 printing and we click OK and OK. And we will choose to combine the multiple files selected or views into a single file here. And I have stated the location where to save it into and we are done. So once we are done with this, we will simply click OK. And we are going to save this one as a consultation set here and we will click save and when it is done you can see that the consultation set will appear as a single PDF file down here so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this file in Adobe Acrobat and you will be able to see that all these files will now be combined inside an array here, the sheets. And we can see the whole set of drawings being nicely configured and set up for print down here as well. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another method to activate the print dialog by pressing Ctrl P. And inside here, now we're going to change this a little bit by clicking on select and selecting the full set here. And you notice when I click on the full set, all the sheets will be now selected here. And we will click OK. And once we're done with this, when the setting is complete, I'm just going to save this as a full set. So I'm going to click on setup again just to take a look to make sure everything is working properly and I'm going to click on OK and OK. And I'm going to save it as a full set here. So again, as you can see right here, once the printing is complete, the full set.pdf document will be generated in a single file here. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up in Adobe Acrobat. And you can see inside here, the entire set of documents will be prepared and printed nicely down here as well. Now, if you look at some of these renderings here, you will find that they are all generated in black and white 
here. Now this is because now if we refer back to the rendered images itself, the rendered caches area here, you find that this is in color, but when we print them out, it becomes a black and white document down here. Now this is because, let me go to the print dialog again. Under the setup itself, we have chosen the option of using black lines here. All right. Had we changed it to color, then the rendering will become a colored render image. However, because we need to have the whole set printed, the whole set here are mainly line drawings. Therefore, we need to prepare another set here. So what I'm going to do is I will click on check none and I will only select the the rendered images here and I'm going to save this one as rendered drawings set and do this and this time round I'm going to change it to rendered drawings and I'm going to change the printing setup now to color and once I'm done with this I will need to do a save as again for another set here and call it a3 color printing this way and I'm going to click OK and run it and then save it as well and again once completed the rendered drawing PDF document will appear and I'm again going to go ahead and open it up in Adobe Acrobat now this time round you will see all the images in color and what we can do is we can click and drag inside here to replace the black and white drawings with the colored versions here down here all right and once they're inserted we can select what we do not need at this point and we can remove these pages here but we are going to need Adobe Acrobat Pro version to be able to insert and delete the pages as well so once we're done with this we can right click and embed all the thumbnails so that the pages will load faster here this way so as you can see printing from Revit is very similar to printing in other Windows applications you can go to the page setup dialog and configure any specific to your print device or the particular plot that you are trying to make. And then when you are ready, you just click OK and wait for the prints to come out.